All right, I'll give you a brief overview of how I did this bearing down here. As you can see, I got this little bearing right here. And uh, this is the uh, outer one. We'll hide that one. And you can see I got some bearings in here. And uh, I'll just give you a overview here. So let's go into one of the views here. As you can see, um, I got a shape going one way. And I got almost, this is almost the same shape. A little bit different but uh, just a little bit smaller and I did a little bit of adjustment but uh, it's going the other way that's what causes the inner and outer um, bevels this one's got a inner bevel so we'll just go ahead and uh, switch these around then you can see this one here one has an inner one has an outer all right with that said all you got to do is uh, to make these, I make everything, uh, I try to make everything uh, symmetrical. So basically, what I did is just use the lines tab and use maybe the, the uh, rectangle and click and kind of maybe dragged out something like this. Select the edge, then tessellated that and maybe did that again. And uh, one more time. And I, I believe I went ahead and removed this point here by the backspace and we just select the edge here now you can see you know this is still symmetric I've got two points above and two points below the middle part and kind of did something like that uh, I uh, you can see I got some points in the inner here okay all I did was just go ahead and just select them right there something like that and I want to use the chamfer on that and adjust some of the settings like that okay that's how I did that so we'll go ahead and delete that there and when you want one let's say we'll select this curve here let's move it up and down so make sure it's I'm selecting that one Control Z and when you get that one what you will do is uh, we'll go over to the sweep surface here and you click it and you go in this direction here all right and then the same way with this one then you'll get the uh, other bevel and we'll do it this way so we got an inner and an outer sometimes you might want to cycle through these to make sure they're going to work just right and you get something like that if the uh, edges are not hard enough um, these are pretty hard I already adjusted them earlier um, if they're not hard enough all you got to do is uh, make sure that uh, when we select just one of these. We get down here. Move that and collapse that. Um, you might want to do that too. If they're not hard enough, just go. Uh, just give it maybe one or two subdivisions. Um, select face mode and loop it. Loop it again and just hold the control key and just click the blue arrow and that'll give it even a harder edge. So depends how hard you want the edge to be on that. All right, now with that said, uh, let's go into the next part here. And uh, we got these bearings here. Let's move back some of these here. And let's see this here. Okay, now I got these little bearings here, and all I did here, you got to get them facing the right direction, but first you need to make one. And all I did was a 3D primitive, and I selected like this. And I used the uh, lowest point on the geodesic sphere here. And basically what I did is, um, you can see it's got this little uh, outer ring to it. Um, I had to flatten that up a little bit. So what I did was select this one here, loop it, flatten that in that direction, loop that one, flatten that one in that direction and loop these then I just hold the control key and just grab this little red cube and kind of dragged out and I might have squished down just a little bit and what I did is just went ahead and select the little edge right about here um, make sure the cemetery is on and uh, I just I ringed it and uh, just press the X on the keyboard and then you'll get an edge like that 
and you can select this little edge here and we can loop it loop it again and you can go ahead and hold the control key and kind of drag down like this and just sink it in a little bit and when you get a little bit of subdivision you'll have something like that then when I had when I went ahead and had that done there uh, we'll go ahead and let's go ahead and hide this one here and where's this one there we are then for this band here is uh, actually it's just a uh, it's just a ring here and that was from earlier I'll go ahead and pause the video a second All right, then once you know I had mine one made here, all I did was make sure I select the object mode. Uh, I went to utilities and used copy on support, and the they need to be facing in the right direction. So uh, you need to kind to eyeball this up, as you can see how they're kind of sunk in and they're facing all one direction. Then all I did was once I did that, um, just took this curve right here, kind of. You copy on support with that. Then when I made this little line here, uh, turn this off. All you got to do is just bring this down something like this. Then all I did is extrude it out. Then add some thickness, and you'll have something like this. And just you know, I'll surface modeling and thickness. And of course, you want it way down like that. Then I just went ahead and placed that down in there. Then when it's all done, we'll turn all these off. Turn these on. And we'll set the material, something like that. And when you're done, you'll have a set of bearings like this. Alright, thank you very much.